Whoever thought you'd be banging Britney Spears? You had the world's biggest virgin. We definitely weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Nobody right. ever said that. You're not saying that. that. Right. No, you no. banged her, and you had, you had feelings for her. It could have developed into something, but she had to, like, distance herself. I'll tell you right well, now. Go ahead. girl is a f***ing liar. <laughs> I'm still drunk. Oh, okay. Hey, Fred, what's up? Hey, man, I think, uh, still, How you still feel, hanging man? on from last night, I think. Hey, here's a dude who got to see Britney Spears naked. Fred must like you, Robin, because his baseball cap is on forward. <laughs> hey, Fred, good to see you. Now, what happened? You were out drinking last night? Yeah, man. So you're still high. I'm still something. Yeah, you seem very drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, usually he's a little more peppy. I'm pretty good, actually. Hey, screw all this. What's how does she look naked? This Britney Spears. How does she, I mean, is she hot? How do you think she looks naked? Well, wait a minute. According to her, you never dated her. She's a liar. No, no. <laughs> According to her, I don't know her. <laughs> right. Well, you probably her. don't. What you? You think I lay in bed and talk to her? <laughs> <laughs> but she says, uh, you know, he's a nice guy, but I don't really know him. Yeah, it was pretty funny. You know, we were talking about this. Like someone, like someone walked in this morning and said, "Would you bang Britney Spears?" I go, "Of course." I said, "Why not?" I, first of all, she's like one of the biggest pop stars around. She's hot. And, As Robert Blake, yeah. What's the downside? Why wouldn't you bang her? Like people think you shouldn't bang her because you're in a hardcore, like sort of metal band or whatever. However, that you that was the thing. You know, that's how it all started. It's like as soon as me and her work together, we're going, we're trying to work together. And her manager, three songs. Her management you. called me. Right said we want you to do this and i was like oh wow that's interesting you know she's kind of hot and, it, it, so. and, and also you figure you can write you give her three like just kind of mediocre songs and just get them on the album and well, actually you, i have always had this little thing for her you know I, right. i've had her posters up in my tour bus you know just like it's kind of funny and people think that like you're goofy but you're not you were into her yeah yeah why not i was so what you, you weren't mean? into the music you're not going to say that. No, actually, the songs I wrote were pretty amazing, uh -huh. and um, I ended up pulling them from her. I didn't give them to her. Yeah. And now, now she's going around saying that that she didn't. Yeah, like I read the songs. that yesterday. It's pretty too. unbelievable. Yeah. But, but, but give me the real story. No, no BS, no hype. Hey, man, Where do you I meet this broad? Not, I swear to God, you are I'm telling not, the truth. I'm swear on your children's eyes. I swear <laughs> on my son Dallas. You swear on your son Dallas's eyes, on his baby blue eyes. Wow. Wow. Well, we know it's true. Then we know it's true. <laughs> For sure. Okay. You know, but, so but he, just... tell, Because I love this. And, and you don't mind me if I play with myself during it. Oh. <laughs> it's just my way. Oh, Christ. I mean, this guy gets me into it. I'm imagining this. She called, Her management calls up, says, hey, you're, you're a hot recording artist. Can you, we want to take Britney in a new way. You know, we want to we wanna give her some new songs. And you go, hmm, this would be an opportunity to hang with her. Yeah. That's, okay. That's about it. Does she then make the call personally to you to say, hey, let's work together? No, her her people just called from the label and the management, and I was like, okay, well, we'll see what happens, you know. We'll, we'll just be in the studio together, and if anything unfolds, it unfolds. Is that how it works with artists? They meet in the studio? That's very cool. Yeah, yeah. they got a whole place where they meet. I'll meet, met, you, I'll meet you in my in studio. studio. I actually, I wrote these songs, and um, I wrote the music and the lyrics, and I sang them, and then when she came in, when I met her, I'd go, here's the songs, here's what I sang, you just have to sing what I sang, and then I'll... I'll mute my voice. Right. All you got to do is copy what I'm doing. Absolutely. Yeah, no thinking. All right. Yeah. So you have three songs, and you you don't talk to her on the phone ahead of time. You just tell her management. No, I she met her one time before, uh, after my buddy Guy's birthday party. Okay. And um, I thought she was very sweet, cool Southern girl. You know, wearing the belly shirt. and uh, Yeah, she's wearing like a little dress or something. Are her legs a little thick? Like, yeah. Like cankles? No. No cankles. No. Yeah, he's not using thick in that way. He means really thick. Oh, I'm not in the cankles. That's the worst. I can't wait till we get to the part of the story where you give her the penis colada. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but anyway, it's a new song I'm writing. <laughs> penis colada. And if Britney Spears wants to record it, it's fine. Who ever thought you'd be banging Britney Spears? You had the world's biggest virgin. She's hot. <laughs> I would tie her up, burn her feet with cigarettes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> How does she look naked, this Britney Spears? How does she, I mean, is she hot? How do you think she looks naked? Well, wait a minute. According to her, you never dated her. You know, 
it's weird that this has to be on blast, but it's like just the way it's become. You, you know, got to set the, yeah, You're not lying, is what you're saying. No, that's the whole thing. It's like she's trying to play me out a little bit because she's Britney Spears. Yeah, yeah. And, and she, she feels like she can do that. And what? You're, what? It's an embarrassment that she slept with you. I mean, you know. Yeah. Get why over can't it. you be in, on the list with everybody else? Yeah, along with all the other that's what, that's guys. That's what you're right about. <laughs> right. I mean, what are you, a bad person? <laughs> well, you know, she's definitely uh, different than you think. But I remember you back in the day when you were begging Carmen Electra. Yeah. Now look at you. <laughs> Those days. Yeah. <laughs> they were never bad old days for this guy. No. There haven't been any bad days, apparently. I Jesus. think begging Britney Spears is definitely way up there in the accomplishment thing. It's you know, people talk about Grammys. Who cares? Grammy schmammy. It's who you bang. Yeah, pretty what you do with that? Damn. All right, so Especially let's go back. because it's the world. This world meets this world. And, and a lot of fans out there are just like, what? What are you thinking? You know, and, and then, but any guy out there at the same time would, would do the same thing. Are you put off by the fact that I'm touching myself right now while I interview you? Oh, it's kind of good. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm like it's not directed at you. Happen to you often? There's a little thump I hear. It's the Britney. It's the Britney Spears angle. Sure. All right. You look good to me. You got a little ham cam down there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> so wait a second. So you go in the studio. You got three songs. She shows up in this pretty provocative outfit. Yeah. How long do you work with her? I work with her for. Uh, about two days. Do you see, like, she's sort of falling for you because, like, you're competent in the studio. Is she touching you or <laughs> and what's the and signal? Yeah. You say? What's the signal that she wants to move ahead into some romance? Oh, it's very hard to read. You know what I mean? I, uh, after the second night, uh, I wrote her a letter telling her everything's cool and everything, and she bailed. And so I was in the studio going, What do you mean she bailed? Well, she left the studio when we <laughs> finished. And so I'm at the studio going, Well, that was pretty ill. You know, I just did this work for her. She's gone. And she didn't even bang you or give you an oral? About three, in the, about three in the morning, she showed back up at the studio. After you wrote really? the letter. What you send, an email? No, I just handed it to her. Oh, and so you took it away and read it. Yeah. So you write her this note saying, basically, gee, was there something between us? Oh, it was No, just, you were cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool. It was, it was enough... It was enough for her to come back at 3 in the morning, and I was like, wow, you, did you come here to pick up the tape or something? She's like, no, I wanted you to come hang out with me. Oh, so, ooh. Now we're but, getting some. What's she wearing when she says that? Another belly well, she shirt? She was actually wearing then was kind of ill. She was wearing, like, this see-through shirt. With, the, with a bra? Me and my buddy Paco couldn't believe how <laughs> see-through the shirt was. No bra. Was no bra. Like, You're kidding! And you see nip slippage? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh really? Man. No, but it was made like that. It was like... That's the kind of shirt Christ. it was. No bra, and it's wow. like see, it's almost like she showed up in her negligee and said, "Let's go hang out." So she shows up alone, no entourage. Yeah, she did have a little entourage with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some dudes that she knew from Louisiana, friends of hers. That's where she's from. Yeah, yeah some hillbillies. They were for sure. <laughs> and you figured they got to find a way to lose these people. <laughs> Actually, they were really cool guys. Me and Paco. Oh, they're guys. They ended up, oh. Well, what, what that does are cousins and things. They were in town, and they actually become. They became really cool. Tell me yeah. when you bang her. You got a banger in front of her cousins. Like, like they don't <laughs> they leave the room. The room anyway. hey, hey, where's security? Hey, Fred, you want another beer? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, she shows up with them, with the with the with the Beverly Hillbillies in tow, and like you all go. Where do you go to hang? A club or a dinner? Um, no, no, we all went back to her house. Really? Where's her? Where's her pad? It's in uh, up in the hills. In nice, the big house. Oh, so she yeah. leaves her house to come get you and bring you back to the house. I think she was out at a club or something. Uh, Dude, yeah. What's the address so my friends and fans can go? <laughs> yeah, because we want to go Everybody already kind of knows because there's always paparazzi out there. Really? I think it's on the star maps. Wow, this is great. Hold it, Justin Timberlake's on the phone. He wants to say something. Yeah, Justin. Listen, I'm ready to commit suicide. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you gave it to her from behind, you son of a bitch. You did. You just nodded your head yes. No. I think you did. I saw it. Hey, clear this up for me before we go on in the story. Did Britney Spears ever get it on with Jenna Jameson, the porn star? I have no idea. Did you ask her? No. Is Britney Spears trying to get be like a dirty little whore now? Like 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 go like out Christina. with Christina. <laughs> like go out with like you know bad boys like Fred Durst and stuff. Is that what she's after? It sort of seems like she's definitely going for the bad boy thing. I love this. Oh, I love this story. This is so beautiful. And you know what? I know you're telling it's the good truth. For her, you know what I mean. You swore in your son's eyes. No, I'm. I, we we definitely hung out, man. <laughs> All right, wait. So you're in her house. Unbelievable house, right? So, Pretty cool. And the Beverly Hillbillies are there with you, <laughs> and your pals. Yeah. Did she pull you into a separate room so she could have some alone time with you? 
Um, we should definitely probably stop. No, oh, don't get wait cursed. Wait a minute. This is the I chick. Did. Hold on, let me let me let me say something here. This is the chick who's going around saying Fred Durst doesn't know me. <laughs> she do, He had no relationship with me. The guy's crazy. You're gonna let her off the hook? That's and she not didn't cool. Didn't want to do your songs because they weren't that good. Yeah, and now she's saying your songs suck. Excuse me, Fred. I don't mean to manipulate here, but let me just say something. <laughs> You know? That's <laughs> not that's not yeah. fair, Fred. That's not. I'm not playing anybody here. That's not fair. Whose side are you on? Yours. Okay, that's good. All right, let's get back in the room. What if we got her? <laughs> what, if, what if you had her coming in here in a couple of days? We're not. I would tell her with you. that you know what? I believe that Fred Durst had sex with you, and it's really cruel for you to say you didn't have yeah. it or yeah. you don't know him. Why I would say that. He make the list. I don't think you lie. You know what, Fred? She ain't coming in, so just... No. <laughs> We've talked And you know what? Me. You're never going to see her again anyway, yeah, so on. let's get back into this. You know, she just has this thing. I think there was such a big deal with her and Justin. It was a big, gigantic thing. So she's... I think she covers up a lot of things. You know what? You know what? And all this lying to chicks about how she's a virgin and all this. Let, let's just blow this apart. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all the, the spin. Did she say that? Yeah. Well, she was living on that for a while. And she was doing Justin. For sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. She knew what she was doing by the time you got her in bed. And she's just, she's definitely not the sweet little innocent. Thank you. But actually, she never tried to be, I don't think, because when she first came out, she had the schoolgirl outfit on. It was kind of kind of provocative and nasty from day one, I think. Yeah, Everybody? but she was still saying, I'm a virgin, even though I dress like this. I bet you gave it to her from behind, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you did. You just nodded your head yes. No. <laughs> if you did, I saw it. <laughs> this is the guy who gave it to, from behind to Britney Get Spears. Get out of here. It sounds like Fred and Paco double team. <laughs> <laughs> That's too dirty. No. <laughs> hey, your buddy Paco needs another tequila. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so take me through this. Do you bang her that night? Is it a one-night thing? I mean... Let me say this. Now, wait, I Robin, I asked a question. Okay, go on. <laughs> He's not going to answer that. Mr. Durst. Go on. That would be, you know, probably uncool for me to answer. All right, so the answer is yes. The first night you But I was going to say that on MTV, he implied to Carson Daly, I think it was, that he... Gave her anal? Oh, that he... Oral. No, no he told Cabby. Cabby, right. yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That was Cabby. Hey, Cabby. What's up, Fred? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Cabby. How's the record coming, man? Uh, it's pretty amazing, man. But you know, there was a couple of things I told you off the mic that yeah. I hear. That he I told hear us already that out. you that you ate. This is what you said. I got to clean it up oh, for the air. Yeah, we got we got to make it clean for radio because it got censored last time. That oh, you please. that you ate her very bad place, <laughs> the worst place. Which is not a bad thing. No, I, I would do it. I yeah. get. Oh, okay. how is that? Cabbie. Was that nuts? <laughs> Were you like pinching yourself? Yeah. Uh, America's how, sweetheart. How's uh, that salad? Uh, how was how was <laughs> salad? <laughs> Man. Dude, because you know she's got the sweetest rosebud on the planet. Is that what Fred she's said, or you're saying that? Butt. I'm saying that. But 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 Fred, am I right? I think her butt's not as good as Jennifer Thayer's, but it's good. Good butt. Oh, I gotta know. Does she like dirty talk? Like, can you get dirty with her? Like, oh come on, baby. Um, yeah. Nice. What do you want to know, Jason? This is the guy to ask. He's seen her naked. <laughs> hey, Howard, love the show. Thank Fred, you. I got to know, man. Are they real? They're yeah. real. The boobs are they real. They are real? Oh, nice. No kidding. Nice. Yeah. I had no idea. Everybody thought that was a job. Oh, we have a new guy. I think Baba Booey has a question. Well, you know, I realize this is a once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> to get answers to questions I always wanted. When I, if I was banging her, I'd tie her up and call her a dirty little whore. I'd be the master. Yeah, I'd be like, come here. Come here, you bitch. You'd never let her go. No. She'd still be tied up. She'd still be tied up in my room. <laughs> Because it's so cool, Britney Spears. It's Look pretty, at you. It's pretty amazing that, like, this is still going on. Oh, come on, man. This is major. It, Who ever thought you'd be banging Britney you're, Spears? You had the world's biggest virgin. Which is hot. <laughs> I would tie her up, burn her feet with cigarettes. Oh, my goodness. That's right. All right. Where did that she's anger she's come from? Girl, though. It's not anger. It's turn on for her and me. It is for her. We both trust each other. But uh, what kind of haircut does she sport down to, uh, down bottom? Yeah, downstairs. Lining strip, triangle, or nothing? No hair, I bet. I'm betting no hair. Let's take bets. <laughs> I bet it's shaved like a banjo. No hair. <laughs> <laughs> I say no hair. Prove me right. Oh, dear. I'm wrong? <laughs> really? Big bush? Landing strip? Big. Big. Oh. She's retro. Get she out. Like the retro oh. Get out of here. 
sucks. <laughs> uh, she sucks. You're kidding me. Oh. Were you shocked? <laughs> Were you shocked that it was big? I think I need a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. <laughs> Get the man a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Hey, make that too. I just can't believe Britney Spears has tumbleweed down there. <laughs> Looks like Joey Fatone. <laughs> Who's better in bed, Carmen Electra or Britney Spears? Give me a quick answer. Um, jeez, this is a great mic. <laughs> <laughs> is Britney loud? Does she make noise? I mean, give me something. Oh man, I uh. This is so far beyond. <laughs> <laughs> this is so out there, man. <laughs> but so what? Who like gets hurt? No there. one. It's the truth. I know. It's just, man. This is really, really something. But you don't. You know. Here's the deal. You don't. You don't. Kiss, <laughs> you don't kiss and tell. Like, you, you know what? You wouldn't have told. Egg and you know what? It never been kiss and tell. If, if she like, didn't if, say that crap. Well, if, if if I wouldn't have been responding to some input from my fans mm -hmm. you know what i mean right. and then it turned into this thing and then i saw that trl piece i saw that saying, too her saying oh you know we worked here he's really cool and uh you know i don't really know him i don't know it like that's a lie it's unbelievable but she's lying to make you look bad and we definitely weren't boyfriend and girlfriend nobody right. ever you're not said saying that, that. Right. No. you banged her and you had you had feelings for her it could have developed into something but she had to like distance herself i'll tell you right now go ahead girl is a f***ing liar. Did your little car go into her garage? Fuck you can tell him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There it is. There. Fine. His buddy Paco's here. Yeah. And uh, his friends got good friends, man, because like Paco's job apparently was to steer the hillbillies out of the way. Let's get him in oh, here. We love yeah. the Paco, hillbillies. Paco's Paco's great. probably <laughs> give me more information than you will. <laughs> Yo, Jethro, let's go to the kitchen. You yeah. wondered how he separated the hillbillies from Brittany. It was Parker. Let's leave these two kids alone. Yes, yeah. let's, let's talk about Molly Hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paco, how you doing, brother? Paco. All right. Paco's got more tattoos than you. Paco looks Paco's hungover. hurting today, man. Yeah, Paco's hung over, man. Wow. Any, how many times did you throw up last night, Paco? Oh. <laughs> Four times. Oh, boy. Paco, you have your master's in business. Why are you... <laughs> Why are you out drinking and throwing up? <laughs> Paco, how does the move go? When are you? Do you freak out when you see Fred with a Britney Spears? I mean, were you like, wow, this is going to be something. i got to help this guy here. I don't know. It was cool for a minute. Yeah, it was cool. So you can testify here now under oath. You saw them together. You saw them together. <laughs> as far as? As far as? Hanging out. You know. Yeah. Hanging out. Yeah. And they were alone together. You left them alone together. How'd you get the hillbilly cousins out of the she room? She says she doesn't know me. <laughs> she says she doesn't know him. She's being a hater. She's being a, she's drinking too much hater aid. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you hear her screaming when he was banging her? Didn't hear anything. Didn't hear anything. All right. <laughs> well, anyway. Um, yeah. Hey. Uh, what 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 would you do? <laughs> what would I do? With yeah. Britney Spears? Yeah. I mean, like if uh, if she said that I didn't bang her and I did. What if she was very forward with you and very, very aggressive? I'd bang her. Period. That's it. End of sentence. It's over. So you're saying I'm not this gonna was pass all up. her? She was the one who came on to you. She's very aggressive. Wow. She let you know she wanted it. Oh, come on. You got to bang her. It's not even no issue here. I mean, Fred. You got to do it. She's Britney Spears. Yeah. She's like, like, it's such a great thing to have banged her. I mean, I don't see what... I mean, she almost raped you. You didn't let her join the band. There's no problem. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you're acting uh, like it was a band. Every guy would like do after it. After this went on and things started getting weird, I called her label and I said, I'm not giving you these songs. And then like two or three weeks later, I read this thing saying, yeah. I'm not going to use this song. Right. Like, it's That's what I'm saying. It's truly unbelievable, man. What is it? You know, there's a big uh, debate going out on our, in our office. Because Fred's been all around it, danced around it, you know, said a bunch of this, a bunch of that. But the guys are saying he's never... You slept with her, yes or no? <laughs> they didn't sleep. You know, you had sex. <laughs> yeah, that's what the, that, the guys are saying. Well, did he do it or not? Why, did you make, why, why does it have to be like that? Well, because people want to know. This is what, right, I mean, did you ever? Same like people on, you the, on your website. They, they wanna, did your little car go into her garage? <laughs> I'll never let my fans down. So you did it. I'll never let them down. Yeah, Give you're us not a hanging yet. around there for nothing, right? Give us a yes or no. Um, I'd have to... <laughs> Paco, help him out here. She says she doesn't know him, that they never slept together. She's calling him a liar, and he's afraid to tell us whether he had her or not. I don't know. I Bob. say settle it now and put Paco, it to... Paco, Paco, you can tell him. You tell him. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, there it is. There, finally. Unbelievable. <laughs> Paco. Unbelievable. Paco was playing bumper pool with the cousins for two hours. Fred ought to be doing something. He better. Good for you. Pool. That's cool. Good for you. Can, can I just tell you something, man? The, all the guys in the office, when Paco said yes, they all applauded. <laughs> yeah. Started applauding. Yeah. The people giving you a standing ovation. You're a legend, man. You're a legend now. And it's very smart by Fred because now Paco's going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> You should beg Christina Aguilera next. Yeah. That's one that I think is really going to... She's gonna... asking for it, isn't she? Yeah, she's like putting her ass out there for you. Yeah. You know, I actually think that she's probably cooler. Yeah, me too. That's that's the one you that's the one you could settle down with. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Paco, great seeing you. You're the man, Paco. You're a man of few words, but that one yes said it all. That's what we need. That's right. Right. <laughs> So, so Brittany's a liar. Yes. Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Did it, did it feel good getting all that stuff off your chest? Um. Yeah, it did. It felt good. I wish you didn't even have to go there. <laughs> yeah. Do, do you feel kind of vindicated because you know Brittany's going around saying that she doesn't know? A little bit. Yeah, I believe that you know people listen to Howard's show and I believe they they know it's the real deal. You know what I mean? It would have been something I would have kept under wraps forever. But unfortunately, it didn't end up that way. Whatever. All right, well, thanks for coming down and sharing your, uh, oh, yeah. your personal life with us. I think this is going to be her, fa her favorite show.